So apparently Studio Mappa messed up episode 2 of Tacked Up Destiny, but did they really mess up this episode, or is it an overreaction because the art style and animation took a shift in comparison to the first episode that we got last week? And let me kind of clarify a few things. If you are unaware of Tactop Destiny, and this is somehow your first time hearing about it, it is a joint project with Studio Mappa and Studio Madhouse working together to make this anime series. And so the first episode that came out last week was made entirely by Studio madhouse and so people were praising they were shocked and it was just like this is incredible art animation myself included this episode comes around and the art animation does look very good personally to me but obviously some noticed a difference and is like this doesn't look as good as you know the previous episode and people are starting to say that it's really bad and map is messing up the show which personally i disagree with but let's actually dive a little bit deeper apparently those that actually worked on this episode episode two of Tact Op Destiny actually was not Studio Mappa whatsoever. In fact, it was an outsourced studio called Studio Voln that actually worked on this episode. They had 10 animation directors on this episode, which that's a yikes in of itself, but it wasn't a bad episode, and it was completely outsourced. So technically, Mappa's name was just only attached to this episode, and that is pretty much about it. But the point is, is that anyone that is kind of targeting Studio Mappa for this episode clearly don't know actually who worked on this episode of Tact Op Destiny. So who is Studio Volm? Because probably people are like, okay, so they got outsourced by Studio Mappa, so who are these individuals that have replaced Mappa for this week's episode? The studio was founded on August 12, 2014 by ex-Madhouse producer and director Keiji Mita, who currently heads the company as its president and representative. The studio's first two animated series were co-productions with Mappa, including an adaptation of the popular manga series Ushio and Tora. Since then, it started to produce its own works, including a theatrical anime film version of the 2015 novel I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. Animator Abiru Takahiko was one of the studio's animation directors for a time. And here is currently what they've actually worked on, as you can see Ushio and Tora, Idol Incidents, Karakura Circus, Back Arrow, and as for films, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, and Uzuzumi Zakura. Now, just to kind of give a clarification here, clearly this studio hasn't worked on a lot of its own projects. However, they do have a history with working with Madhouse and also MAPPA. So if there's any studio to kind of fill in for MAPPA, it definitely would be this studio right here, Studio Vault, because there is a history between all three of these studios, which is kind of fascinating to me. But uh, let's actually dive into the complaints that people are actually having with this week's episode of Tact Op Destiny. So people are saying that the art animation has taken a radical shift in comparison to the first episode. And let's just look at the eyes. I think the eye details here is clearly something that people can see how different maybe the distinct art style is. And yeah, you can definitely see a difference if you look at these eyes. However, let's be honest. They either or don't look that bad. I mean, Madhouse's version and Studio Volan's version, they don't look bad. Yes, they're different, but overall, I do like the distinct approach to the different design decisions. And this was to be expected. I mean, I even mentioned this in my first impressions of Tact Out Destiny that with two studios working on the series and swapping studios probably every single episode, there is going to be some core differences with design decisions with the characters. You're going to notice differences, and that's obviously what is going going on here with the design differences, let's say with the eyes. So I'm personally not against that. I don't think the art and animation was relatively bad for this week's episode. I think anyone that really is going nitty gritty and really trashing it are just really just wanting to trash it for the sake of it. But uh, in all honesty, I actually like episode two more than the previous episode of Tact Up Destiny because it gave us a lot of development and characterization for our main characters. So I think like overall I personally prefer this episode I mean yeah obviously I do like the action and the art and animation of the action from the first episode but I am someone that really loves the little moments the character interactions and this episode really nailed everything for me and I feel like the studio that worked on the studio of own they really put the extra effort and passion into making this episode as good as they possibly could I don't think this was an inferior quality episode I think this was fantastic for everything that it really tried to do with music
music and all of that, and especially the twist towards the end. Now, let's talk about the other elephant in the room, which is Studio MAPPA actually being tied to the series. So, I know many are going to be quick to say, okay, so if MAPPA outsourced this episode, what are they actually doing? That's a good question, honestly. However, if you really look at what they're doing, at least from what we can see so far... MAPPA is playing this very smart. Number one, they have attached their name to this title. They're on the production committee and all that, and because of that, they are, yes, profiting, but I feel like over the past year or so, for a while now, MAPPA has definitely garnered a reputation, and their name carries a lot of weight, and I feel like the people at the top of the animation studio definitely are very aware of this, and because of how much weight they carry, if they even attach their name to a product, people most likely will fly flock to it. And let's be honest, I know I did. Hearing that Madhouse and MAPPA were going to work on this series, I definitely was instantly wanting to watch this. So hearing that the MAPPA title or the studio is attached to it, it's like, okay, this is probably going to be interesting. And so they're using their name as more of an advertisement for the show, even if they're not maybe fully working on it and they're outsourcing their episodes to other studios like Studio Voln, they are helping the series out in terms of getting noticed or popularity. So I know people are going to say maybe MAPPA is lazy or doing bad, but actually I think this is a relatively smart maneuver by them business-wise to actually try to boost the popularity of a series just with name alone. It's kind of scary, honestly, just to see how much weight that MAPPA currently has to even be able to do something like that. But also, it makes me very happy to see that Madhouse is able to stand with them and actually can make really solid episodes like how first episode was for Tact Op Destiny. So yeah, just anyone that is necessarily complaining about this episode I think it's unwarranted. I think this is a really good episode, and I feel like it's consistent. I think it really is consistent with the first episode, the art and animation, the sound effects, to just, you know, the character development characterization. There is really nothing I'm really upset about when it comes to this week's episode, so... I don't know. I just, I feel like people need to chill. I feel like it needs to chill, and we just uh, need to actually take it for what it is and think about the positives that what is going on with this anime. However, it could be entirely possible the reason why maybe a lot of people had a complaint with this episode is because it was more character-driven, characterization and development-driven than the previous episode. Because let's be honest, a lot of people love their shiny action and animation. I mean, I know I do myself. And so typically people think because it doesn't have that high-octane action, the next upcoming episode that's more of a calmer episode that's just more of exploring the characters would be a little bit more boring or just unenjoyable in comparison, which I completely disagree with. I think, like I said, episode two is way better than episode one, but that could be another complaint people are having is because it's just not as action-packed and they expected it to be after the first episode. But I guess I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy my content, you know, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you want to get notified for whenever I upload a video, please click the bell icon down below, and with that, Chibi out.